Hi everyone, Adam Steele here of Hot Pole Studios and I am buried in stuff. Uh, you may know, you may not know, we are setting up for doing some real epic live streaming stuff from the studio. Especially while this whole, you know, human malware situation is in effect. Now's a good time for us to do these upgrades, because there's no studio downtime necessary, because, I mean, technically this is all downtime. So, I've been doing a lot of unboxing videos recently, I know, but because I've got a lot of stuff coming in, I'm excited to show you all what is coming in, and why! So, there's a lot of stuff here. This thing in the middle uh, is not new. Uh, this used to be my touring rack for my base adventures, and I would have my two notes la base, which is just over there, as the preamp in here, and that would be fed from this uh, G90 wireless system, which would also feed a tuner, which is nice. Uh, I'm not touring anymore. I don't really need it, but I've always kept it, and I'm going to convert this into the live streaming setup. Uh, it's got a nice drawer in the front, which is currently slightly stuck. I'll uh, work on that. Uh, it's got a receiver for stereo in-ears. I'm not sure if I'll actually use that, but I might. The options there could be a useful thing in the studio. Uh, the tuner can go, uh, but I need to make space for a couple of things in there. Firstly, is this. Dun, dun, dun. I have got an interface from Behringer. There is permanently going to be a Behringer corner in here. And I've got the old uh, Behringer UM2, which was, uh, when I tried it, I'll be honest, it was a massive disappointment, but it was the cheapest interface I could find of any kind full stop. Now, I've been told that the UMC HD series is much better. So, I'm going to crack this out. I'm going to be doing a uh, a separate video on a lot of this. I'm basically going to make a vlog about setting all this up. I'm going to do a separate video of this up against the cheap Behringer and then compare it to a couple of other interfaces just for some reference. But let's get it out. It's actually quite heavy and where... There we go. Yeah. The UM2 is all plastic and is this cheap crap. The uh, the 404 HD, that's metal, that's solid, that's got a lot more substance to it. And I believe this actually has drivers that work, which is uh, a far sight, a far cry from the little brother. Now, the reason that I got this is that the plan with the live streaming setup is to have all the sound that usually goes through the studio PC still go through the studio PC and feed a copy to the live streaming machine. But also, I'm planning on having a microphone on the sofa over here, a mic on the sofa over here, just kind of overhead so that we can hear what clients are saying. But also, if I'm in the live room, I want to use this wireless system that I have, the Line 6, and right now it's the G90, so it's the guitar version, and so I have the uh, relay transmitter. And I've been doing some reading up, like I do, and it turns out this, this duct tape's just on here to uh, keep the cable from coming out because I would run around on stage quite a lot with my bass, and I would be really throwing the thing around. Showmanship, you know. Uh, but you can also use this exact same transmitter pack with microphones. So the first thing to unbox, second thing to unbox, bleh, is in this box down here. And it is a little microphone. I did some research and I got this off eBay cheap because... I'm a bit of an eBay fiend, and it was a Shure lav mic. So it's not the prettiest lavalier microphone, but this, let's get it out of the packet, 
Um, I don't know if it was X higher or what, but it's got this uh, four pin mini XLR thing on the end, which uh, is what the uh, Line 6 transmitter uses. So what I wanted to try today was to plug this in and give it a go. So let's turn it on, see if I have to adjust levels at all. One, two, one, two. So that's coming out incredibly low level. Uh, let's have a look at holding the setup button here. Oh, no, that's going to... High power, name on. Okay, so you don't get many uh, controls on here. This is what it is. And is the level going on the front? Level's not particularly high on the front. That might be a good thing. Um, I don't actually see an input or output level on here, which could be good. Uh, let's turn up the gain on this side and see if that makes for a reasonable... There we go. Okay, so uh, that's a decent level now. That's coming in. So just for a bit of fun, I'm going to stick this in my pocket. Uh, it's probably going to be on my suit jacket, the way that I'm planning this. Stick this here. So it's... Yeah, there we go. So that's going to be part of the plan. It probably doesn't sound great. I don't know if there's any background noise or what on there, but that's for experiment. And I'm going to grab the GoPro and we're going to go into the uh, other side of the live room and see just how far this will keep going. Because with it being a digital transmission system, let's pick you up. We And we'll see just how far we can go while still having sound. Because if I can go right the way around the studio, there we go. If I can go right the way around, I mean, I know this place is a bit of a, a bit of a mess right now, but the aim is that I'll be able to talk to you whilst being around the cameras that are on this side. So this is the vocal booth, and I'm really hoping that I'm getting some decent level around here, because if I am, then Happy days. Let's just uh, go back. So hopefully that uh, lasted signal wise right the way through. And if it did, I'll be very, very, very happy. But let's turn that off now. And I will come back to that another time. So that's my first proper box of the day. So let's keep working through this box and then start getting myself some space. So also in this box was a Canon Legria camcorder. And you think, camcorder? What's, what's this guy up to? But, again, doing my reading, doing my research, turns out a lot of these kind of cameras that aren't particularly old have really, really good zoom on them, a high quality zoom lens, and they also have HDMI out. So with HDMI out and the mini HDMI cable is included, uh, this thing is either going to be, oh yeah, it's got a flicking thing there. It's either going to be in the vocal booth up in a corner if, it, if I get a wide enough angle out of it, or it might be in the live room because I think I can control the zoom on this remotely because it's, um, it's kind of wide on the angle. It's not super wide. But the fact that I can zoom in and in and in and in, I'm actually focusing completely just on the camera right now, which is way over the other side of the room. Obviously, you can't see that. But yeah, I'm going to turn that off. But yeah, that's going to be one of the cameras in the live streaming setup. And now for the big boy from this box. This...
as far as eBay goes, this is my number one haul right now. This is the Blackmagic ATEM 1 production switcher. This isn't the ATEM Mini, this is like the ATEM Maxi. This thing's got eight inputs, including SDI, which works really nicely with our camera over there. And it's got lots of lovely features like audio in and out. Apparently the HDMI out for the main program out is broken. But that's fine, because it's got USB on, and I think we're going to try and draw that over USB anyway. And even if not, it's got SDI out, so I can draw it over SDI using another capture card. So I'm waiting on the power supply to come in for that, but that's going in this rack. So that's why... Oh, that's why it's up on the desk. Now, what have I got here? This one. Oh, now this one's very much an experimental thing. This was an eBay special. This is a massive lens from Computar. And it's a C-mount lens, which I got a C-mount to Micro Four Third adapter for it. And I'm hoping if I can work out how to power this, because I can't seem to get any... Uh, any video through it right now, but it might just be that it needs 12 volts on some of these loose wires. Uh, that is going to be strapped to a camera in one of the rooms. So that's <laughs> hopefully going to be really nice. Apparently it's an f1.6 lens. So if I can get that working, that's a definite if, uh, but that's a, rather than a definite purchase, that's a gamble. Might need some help from some guys in, in the comments section here in the chat helping me out of how to uh, get one of them going. Uh, what's next? Oh, okay, let's let's do this one next. Feels a bit like Christmas. I forgot. Oh, that's a special USB cable for the switcher. Like I said the power supply is coming on Monday. Uh, next one from here is definitely worth mentioning this. Is a ride symbol. This is a 21 inch uh, Zildjian rock ride. And this is from Symbol Magic. The reason that I've got this is if you look closely at the camera at the edge, it's got a couple of, uh, couple of fixes where it's been slightly cracked and it's got a professional mirror finish. And these things are what, 400 pounds new, something like that, 400, 450 dollars. And I got this for way, way less than that because it's been repaired and cared for. And I'm very much looking forward to using this on the house drum kit. I also have a, uh, a Peisty ride and some Peisty crashes from Symbol Magic. And I've probably paid as much as one premium ride symbol for the entire set which is crazy. I think I made a video about it a while back. If I didn't release it, I'll go back and look at that. Uh, now we get to the really cool looking one, which is, oh, this, uh, I'm not gonna get this out of this box yet because this looks like it's gonna be uh, quite the assembly job, but this is a monitor mount if it'll uh, reset on the camera. Yep, there we go. For mounting four screens. And that's what I have over here. Oh God, that's heavy. That is this, which is, uh, this is a, a 21 and a half inch screen from Acer. And I've got four of them. So let's crack one of these open, shall we? I have to find a particularly sharp. Yeah, the reason I got these is that they were new and cheap and they matched. So, like I said, the streaming setup's gonna be over there. It's gonna be bananas. It's gonna be four screens. It's gonna look like the Matrix. So at least one sque screen, at least one screen is gonna be for the Blackmagic switcher for the multi-view. And there's also gonna be at two screens, maybe three, for the streaming computer itself so we can see what's going on, talk to everybody in chat, sort everything out without it having to take up any of the main studio PC in a busy session. 
So, things are coming together. Tiny little power supplies these days. 12 volt, 2 amp. Huh. Can run these screens off like practically nothing. Huh. And as this one stands. Oh, it comes with an HDMI cable. Beautiful. The little things when you buy four of them. So, yep, nothing fancy about these screens, except that there's four of them. And I got ones that have a Visa mount on the back, which is these four, you see, the four dots in the middle, which means that I can clamp this to this crazy stand. And they've all got HDMI in and they all match. And that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So yeah, three other boxes, I'm not gonna unbox all of them, uh, but, I'm going to cut the camera now, I'm going to say thank you and get working because I have a lot to do with all this and the clock is ticking. So <laughs> thanks everybody for watching the uh, unboxing. A lot of this is possible because of you guys through Patreon. So massive thank you and I'm, I'm so excited to do some of this stuff because as much as it's like, oh, Adam's buying all this new stuff, he must be rich. It's like, no, I'm I'm getting a lot of this stuff with the aim of us being bigger and better and having cooler videos. Because if I can do live streams from the studio, that's awesome. If I can do you know, stuff where I'm recording much more in-depth content and not having to spend hours doing the editing, that's awesome as well, because I, I know that I can do things, like especially with the Black Magic thing, where I can switch cameras with my phone these days, which means that I don't necessarily need... I don't necessarily need a second person here with me for me to be able to film a video and switch cameras and have multiple cameras and then not have to do it later. Which is very much what Henning Pauly does. And I, I do like Henning's work, but yeah, I want to get up to that level of production and you guys are helping me to do it. So thank you very much to all of you. It's hugely appreciated. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, that might be the end of the video, but if you fancy carrying on this conversation, we have a Discord server. Link is in the description. We're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hot Pole Studios. See you there.